Good Omega morning. Um, for uh, today, I have a janky deck. I've been wanting to uh, give a shot. Oh, uh, this is a uh, our Let's Slip the Dogs of War. Uh, hand trap. <clears throat> Slurry of. Final countdown, win condition, nightmare. Uh, now, the only thing about this deck is that apparently final countdown is limited in the TCG. So, uh, OCG. Uh, yeah, which meant uh, just browsing through Road of the King to look at big OCG extra decks. To facilitate Ghost Reaper and Winter Cheer. <laughs> uh, uh, and when this gives me a bigger headache than the one I have, we'll swap to like, I don't know, that, that Light and Darkness Dragon deck. I think we might be Cosmo deck. So, uh, let's, let's try. Ironically, how is this? This is the Cosmo deck is so like just full of garbage and old shit that it it you can just play it in the OCG. Just do it. Just do it. Uh, so yeah. Let's see. Let's try this out. I hope I I never play OCG on Omega. I hope there's not some. Doing this. It's not. And hey, I can't think of a better going second deck. One that's just this. We uh we hit him with the veiler. What if we hit him with the spooky? Thank you very much. Now you might be asking, what the hell do I do from here? Draw some cards. Hopefully, we draw final countdown and then we draw some more cards. We gotta do. Alright, do I use. Oh, actually, no one still here, considering I'm perfectly content with life. Yeah. Thing. I will not be using an effect that special summons a monster. You don't worry about that. That's it? Oh, dude. Um. Let's slash draw. Shuffle all these back in. Um, shuffle in dogwood and. But oh, hey, we, we drew into don't slip. Let's go. So the point purpose of don't slip is that we're running a deck that's like half tuners, so we just keep drawing. Draw all our hand traps, and then we do it over again, and then we slash draw, and we recycle them, and then we draw them over again. This is why sl this is a reason why slash draw was limited in the TCG. Oh, is it might not be anymore. Because what happened was um burning abyss. He started running it. 
uh, just to recycle everything. And also get like a discard off. It's like there's literally no drawback to this card. It's really funny. Thank you, Dragons of Legends. Really, the set that that kept on giving. I'm a, I that was Dragon. Dragons of Legend two. Oh, I wanted to. Oh, what? Hey, look! I drew a tuner. Wow. I wish I could actually get my copy of Final Countdown. That is kind of the problem here. You, you have to basically draw into it pretty hard. Hard, I say. Wait a minute, wait, wait, I just fuck up something, hold on a second. Okay, no, no damage. For a second I thought it said life can't change and I was gonna get a little upset. Yes, give me life. Uh, abominable, what are you doing again? You... Right on the field, uh oh. No, my metaphor. Thought they were gonna hit the field spell and then I would flip it. What a We just we just final countdown. Game can really begin. They run out of cards. Uh, oh, well, I guess we should, you know, draw some cards. <laughs> uh oh. Um, hmm. I'm gonna set you. I am thinking of a funny situation where where I could um play Moonlit Chill. Yeah, no Moonlit Chill enough in one game to just burn them to death. Very funny. Dogs are not gonna slip. Just, just you wait. I think they're the ones that are starting to slip up. I hope. That, I think maybe this one definitely has that dog in him. Definitely. Destroy that spell. <laughs> uh oh. Look at these creatures in the back here. Hey. This one kind of looks like a Moogle. Be like if we pretend that's a nose. Got that dang old spell back. Uh, we will be ashing. I 
Okay, so we're totally gonna draw a tuner next turn and in, 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 in 20 turns. Uh oh, oh no, this suddenly does. When I say it like that, this doesn't look very good. Comboing their ass off. They they want this. Oh. Well, hey, they can't win yet. It's mathematically impossible. What are they? They're just gonna keep wailing on me, and I'm gonna be like, I don't know, man. I'm all good. They they can break sword my last copy of Let's Slip. That's or not last copy. Never mind. Second copy. That's still not great. What you got? You gonna make Appaloosa? Oh, never mind, they got rid of the break sword. Downard. Is this gonna be the funniest Zeus of all time? You're goddamn right it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo! Alright. Worrying, baby. Have at it. It's time. One of my earliest Yu-Gi-Oh friends I ever knew going to locals. I knew him. He would play a final countdown. Good guy. Good old uh, YouTuber Dark Rabbit. I have to. I we. Ha you know what would make a hell of a, of a of a stream? Going through the YouTube channels of all my old like friends. It's not like weird. Like it's public. You know. It's just old as hell. Old as shit. Yugi tubing was a whole. Oh fuck. Yugi tubing was a whole ass different ball game then. I can tell you that much. Okay. So, <laughs> I would. I sure wish Battle Fader was a tuner right now. No, huh? That's a good idea, though, because I was looking through an old friend's um, um YouTube, where he just uploaded tons of like crummy footage of us playing and regional footage and all that. Um, in which I'm in, might not know it, but I am. Never admit to who is me in the video. But now well you can see my face anyway. But like it's just it's history. That's my hands. That's my hands playing a bad deck. Me. I think I don't I have to look at my other other old friends channel if we still have our like actual old like team videos. You really went into little I guess you don't have anything Spanish. Uh, yeah, the, where we had, like, an actual proper team and had, like, a tiny little 15 minutes of fame on YouTube. That was weird. But yeah, the, the only person I can think who does videos from those days is Robbie Cole. M. Cole. Ooh, I like I like knew him because he's he's from here. I would see him at events all the time. But yeah, no, he he kind of does the same style of video he's always done. Except he has like. A... Oh, is that Ghost Mourner? How did you not beat me? By the way, the fuck? I just like blinked out. How did they not beat me last? <laughs> okay.
attacking with the Zeus, just be careful. Very smart. I would have just wiped the board. All right. Uh, that's one. Let's let's try another. Let's see if we can like open final countdown this time. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be wonderful. We go first. Like, we go second for the draw. We go first to get to the field spell, or we're second for the draw? I guess that's the question. We, we want to get the field spell. And also this. Yeah, this works. So, we you. We have, ooh, a pot of avarice. We have the metaverse. And we pass. Are my chains on, like... All automatically? What's going on there? You know. Maybe I'm like, I, my memory is. I didn't realize there's a separate dual log over here. I've always been using. card extra deck wow okay anything well okay we got Terra we don't want to ask that we don't know what it could that could be okay it's Yubel fortunately I have Phantom of Yubel in the extra deck just in case uh, this I would like to ask it that one feels. Is it? Can I click on you? Oh. Um. You wouldn't curry about this? Or maybe not. Nightmare Throne is a crazy card, by the way. Just a search. That's gonna get this deck's gonna get gonna get crazy. So excited. Sixty dollars. Oh no, thirty. He'll, he'll. What are you doing over there? What do you like to do? What do you like to hit me with? Powerful. They're, they're having a hell of a time over there. This is too bad because this is a great setup for me and I, I kind of... Oh, oh yeah, they're playing. I'm afraid it's gonna not let me do this in end phase. There we go. First of all. Activate. Countdown. Draw. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a lot of good shit going on here. Yeah, man, summon limit. That'll show me. And goes in match? Oh, dear. Uh, I, hey, that's cool. I'm done over here. Feel free to go. I, I'm hoping they don't draw a tuner. They might. Any Ash makes this uh, go very badly. And once I see a U-Bell touch the field, we cherries. Special summon. Good lord. Means you can very easily go into Terror Incarnate. Now 
And I guess Ultimate Nightmare? That's... wow. I mean, it's a little harder to do, but, you know. Unless the fusion is, like, level... No, it's... It's, it's nine? That's interesting. Thought ahead. Oh, they're very indecisive. Let me discard my little tuners. Come on. Wait, let the, let them go. Let's slip the tuners of war. Oh, hello, thank you, thank you for the good luck wishes. I think this one's about to time out, so we made good on that. Uh, wow, okay. Uh, let's, let's go best of three, right? Give it a shot. Yeah, riveting stuff. We just gotta open as well against an opponent who wants to play the game. I was gonna cherry that Phantom of Yuba, that was gonna be crazy. I was like, I'll, I'll go against one U-Bell today. I know it's going to happen. And when I do... That. And then I, after this one, I'm going to swap over to the... Um, the lad deck. Yeah, it feels. Is that all I played last week was in Cosmo and Lad? Who... One of those was a much better time. That's sweet. Unless this takes just a little too Give it 20 seconds, I'll swap over. Two minutes on the dot, come on. Let's go. Oh. Right. Could play Grandpa Yuval. I'll think about it. But. We're playing shittier decks this I say shitty. Nothing shitty about Light and Darkness. It's eclectic. Yeah. What we got? Opening... Classic nine card extra. Rainbow. Oh, what are we getting? I know I'm Mausoleum over walls because I have M City already. I feel like everything set up. So. How about Eric Reels go? Copy. You know what? Let's discard Rainbow Dragon. 
I'm gonna like leave. You. 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 Finally. So they don't get any big idea. And we kind of just win, unless they do some funny chain stuff. Like, they need to do something on the chain, or... Uh-huh. Sorry. Good. That went much better. That went way faster than the other games. Wow. What happened? If I were to play this, I mean, Horrors is still a bit, a bit more pricey than I would care for. So are they getting reprinted in the, in the Megatons? Uh, I don't remember. I think they're old enough. I would heavily consider playing this deck if uh, Horus drops down. I want to get like the most expensive printings of Light and Darkness, which should be the old manga printings. Secret Rares, I want to say. The Ultras... Because there were two printings of Light and Darkness. There was the manga one. And then right after was the Ultra Rare printing... I don't think it was a Shonen Jump. They wouldn't put it in a Shonen Jump if it can't. But like... The gold suit. I can just look this up. I don't know why I'm like... But it's fun to test me. You know? I guess we're dealing with uh, Godi, by the way. Okay. So it was the GX... Okay, the Light and Darkness power pack. They made a set just for Light and Darkness Dragon. That's what it was. Crazy. Yeah, and that came out... Oh, that came out... I, I'm, I'm, when I'm looking at these dates, right? It came out a week later, after the, the manga. That's odd. They were never that generous for other manga promos, by the way. By the way, like, Absolute Zero, hello. 30 40 dollar card for the longest time are you kidding me and uh thunder king, thunder king ryo no thunder king ryo was also hell and yeah 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 those were those are the ones that come to mind uh all right what are we sending i i will freely admit go to your kind of a blind So we might be we might be uh powering through this one a little blindly, folks. Quick synchro there. Not the word. Not that I could tell you what the synchros do. Again, we're, we're blind spotting. Okay, anyway, that that just happened. Uh, like King Sark discard goods. I'm gonna save the trade in for emergency, which might end up happening. Uh-huh. Target a fish. That's a pretty looking synchro. I do it. Very angular. Big fan. Again, if I had more of a the brain or stomach for synchro spam, I'd probably be on Goaty. 
Okay, well, uh, emergency trade in, like I said. Okay. Fine. Um, not a lot to go on, unfortunately. We do have a skill drain. Provided I don't lose from activating it. That in the solemn. The solemn will depth. Do that for later. Now, if they clear all of this away for something big, then we hit that solemn. But that will put us in it. Hmm. That's a Barone! Okay, I didn't think this through. <laughs> well, now I have to solemn it or I lose. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. That's <laughs> true. Oh. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Hey, you want to negate it? I don't know. They, um... Right, no. So I'm looking back at the Light and Darkness releases. So, manga promo a week before it got its own pack. I guess they knew how good it was going to be. So they were like, no, this one's good enough for its own product. And then later in the retro pack too, which is in a real set. So. And finally, four years later in the Storm of Ragnarok special. At which point you didn't, it, it was gone. Why? Why'd you do that? That's not true. That was around, but oh. I shouldn't say that because um, 2011, we were like, because um, Light and Darkness got played in Synchro Play. Not that weird. Oh. Thank you for the follow. I've said this before. If it happened before, um, if it happened before Edison, in my mind, it's just like a slurry of like the pre-synchro times. I keep because I think, oh yeah, you know, Dad returned two thousand eight, and then, and then there's a void, and then shooting star dragon hat. I was like, what? What? Where am I? Oh, I'm sure. Uh, that's. I guess I'll add like Hoppy, put an Imseti back, and then discard them both for the Imseti? You get a draw off of it. I'm like looking at trade in. I don't need them. Alright, what do you got? That's a yes. Um, Edison nostalgia is really funny to me because my major nostalgia for the game around that time is like the format immediately following Edison. Probably when I was at my best. Over a decade ago. Oh, there we go. Um, well, that changes. Yes. I'll trade in. Yeah, I'll try it. Ah, right, perfect. Uh, okay, let's grab the sarcophagus. Oh. Um. It is Dom, which. That's not the end of the world. 
No, it's just good. We can discard the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, yeah. We're gonna lose Rainbow. Bring Medora too. Oh, is Hoppy the only one left? <laughs> yeah, because we lost Deb. Oh well, let's get the boys. You, I, I don't know where we're up again. I mean, we got two Solemns, so. Uh, yeah, I could end on, like, Little Night. Actually. Oh, first of all, let's thin the deck out. Could also be Filth. Oh, no, did I banish Secret Village? Are you kidding me? Oh, the board's wonderful. I'm just a little bit. I'm like, oh, oh, it could be more per. What if? Um, uh, anyway. Oh, dragon turn. Um, I also played Buzz King at one point last week. Not good in the blind match, but it is a very funny card. Okay, well, anyway, if I can go Little Knight, then I can just sit on uh, Titanic and Little. I got the spell, the monster, the two. <laughs> oh, you think it's not worth it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and we're, and we're going to be a little extra extra. Fun. All right, I was just trying to have at me. You got. Ah. Uh. I am a little less scared because of One solemn for each card they got left in hand. Gonna end. Well, that's disappointing. Your main phase can turn special sum. It. Okay. All right. <laughs> um. I'm just gonna do that. Oh, you got another zombie in there too. <laughs> Almost missed the zombie. Did the Nixies no the Nixies only get spells. Little Knight would react to it, but what are how about they just can't do anything? How about that? Oh, my other Horus Horus fellas are under Galaxy. No. Um Excuse me? Oh, pfft, zombie world. <laughs> Shit. You. Um. This is not a monster, but and banish. Not the other way around. If it was banish this card, and if you do summon it, I'd be like, hell yeah, but. It goes the opposite way. I mean, okay. 
Well, not a huge problem. A big problem. Uh, I have gold sarks. Gold sark. King's sark. Bye. Back. I guess, I don't know, I, I don't particularly want to use Bill Drain, but I'm gonna hang out. You never know. Oh, I banished my own imps. I just... I, oh, plague. Not plague. Give me some. Uh, I, I kind of don't want you using that, dude. I gotta be real. Like, that seems like a... Like... I'm so glad... <laughs> Other does. Wish he was detaching for that so I could pull a Horus monster. That's. Hey, we did it. Cool. Alright, so we're riding high, which means that we need to feel a little sad. So. Let's see if we can get a nice one. Let's just see what happens. Let's see if we can actually queue into the OCG. Let's. Gotta see if that happens first. Pretty important deep. I wonder, um, have I ever played voiceless before? I started my Saturday morning streams specifically to talk about voiceless voice deck building. Mm. I own it. Real. I enjoy it. I think one of my favorite interactions learning about voiceless voice was going to locals and playing someone who was a bit more seasoned back than me. Uh, called it Sword Soul, but you have to think about it. And I was like, oh. Where it's like, both decks, Sword Soul and voiceless voice do that thing where you kind of just do the same thing, turn one, every time, generally. But then voiceless is like, okay, but after turn one, you have to think about your I'm going for the field. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ass. Let's slip. And this is kind of it. This is all we got. So. Yeah, I mean, I, not everyone can pick up voiceless. It's a bit of a steep ask for your average person. Though, uh, I would always joke with amongst others that, in spite of that all, it is the most budget of the high tier decks. Despite the, the cruelty of the $60 secret. And, uh, I'm... Ooh, ooh, I... Harp. We're just gonna... Uh, do I? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, but anyway, I, I am looking into... Nice discard, bro. Good fucking damn. Uh, I'm, I'm looking into branded voiceless, and I want to see how it feels. It's like a little extra, and I don't know... Branded fusion is a good long-term investment, I think. I feel like the fact that you can play Branded Fusion and Voiceless Voice might be one of the things that gets them to be like, okay, we should put this to one. Oh, this is dire. Uh-oh. Well, 
we can, what we have to do. Draw one card. Is <laughs> what will it be? Okay, so this one's a bust. It's a, you know. Oh, Cherubini. You have an Orochi and a Harpoor in your graveyard? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, there goes Graf. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. There's a lot. Uh, maybe I mm, maybe I could have held onto the dogwood past the past the jackalope. Ugh. I don't like you. I do not have a I do not have fond memories of the period where this was being used. He's sitting on this ash, saying, like, ooh, he's gonna be real mad when I negate the Harpoor. <laughs> Fine, I got 8,500. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I saw the nightmare get discarded, and I was like, no, no, not this time. Oh, I'm not in. Carabini's a funny card. I think I pulled it, sure. Alright. It's a galaxy go. Love galaxy. It's ironic I'm playing this build against. I started to get playing like this galaxy. Came about when I I was looking at things in the galaxy blocking. Wait a minute, you can just slip some level eights in here. Make your photon lord discard a discard a jumper for fun. What if we made this fun deck that's finally good and also budget? What if we made it expensive? I can do. Oh, speaking of Xenolock, they train. This card's weird. This card's super weird. Where it's like you have to target a Photon specifically in the graveyard and get a Galaxy specific from the deck. Super awkward. And also a Xenolock. But I mean, you know. I wouldn't play more than one copy now. Like, the thing about so many Galaxy cards is that, like, so many of them are, like, you played, like, three of this all the deck had. And now that the deck has, like, Searchers, tools, Galaxy 100, you can play so many things at one now. France being... And then I love I love Soul Flare Dragon. It it's kind of a crummy card. So many early galaxy cards, which this isn't even early, will have like this if all this effect, and it's like if this card is link summoned, you can target um I don't know how to say. Yeah. Target a photon, add it to your hand. Wow, it's like so many things are like Congratulations, player. As a reward for doing your combo, you get to add a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon to your hand. Thank you.
Uh, yeah. Uh, they are going first, though. So they're gonna have to end on nicer stuff. Oh, they're looking at my extra. Now, why they opened on Cypher X? I. Kind of... Like. Not. I mean, I guess you can grab something in the standby, but, like, not the first thing I would do. I don't know. Also, maybe we'll lose. <laughs> like, this is a pretty awkward end. Could happen. We got skill drain. What I'm feeling is we get to Imseti. How is Titanic? Not even getting Titanic. Making this a little too easy for me, dude. Okay, um... What are we doing? I would like to get Imseti in my hand to discard it with Medora. So, I don't wanna play you. Oh, right, because both unlocked. Uh, weirdly, like, I'm thinking of what I'm going to shuffle back into the deck. And weird enough, I, I kind of want to shuffle back into Zyres. Oh, no, I got called by the Grave to protect me. I could just shuffle the Sark back in. Yeah, I'll just shuffle the Sark. Let's see, then we do that. M. Seti. Play this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Probably what I was clicking. You discard these and get the. We don't need this. Might have blanked on the. Got this. do anything about the just make siphon bounce the cypher x run over anything well we want more damage battle phase run over there i don't think they have anything Pretty sure they can't activate. Rid of you. Into. I'm in. Typhoon. Grounds. Cypher it. Oh, 
player. Oh. That sucks. Galaxy from take it from the deck. Um, are you out of material? Now I'm just I'm looking at my Medora. I just can't activate in standby because of Typhon. I I thoroughly fucked up by not getting the Sark. I'd be playing a very different game if I had the Sarcophagus right now. No, oh, well, I I summoned it already from Grave, so I'm out of uh, I'm out of guys. Once per. Got it, Vanisher. Uh, see, the thing is, I would love to use my Medora, and they will negate it next. Thinking if I can do anything preemptively, and not like really. I better do a lot of that on the chain. But if I have skills right now, then that's. Oh, just going right into it. Now we can't activate. <laughs> oh, never mind. a bit. <laughs> Let's flip. Just eat. well. If I I should survive to next turn. I don't think I die here. Typhon's got to eat the big guy, and then when I go, I can wall some stuff back into rotation and like play the game. That's that's a problem. Okay, so I don't lose. I come very close. That's good. And again, the reason we want Sark is that Sark's um you know, banish thing that battles me effect. That's all in the spell. Children doesn't touch me. I want to kite you. Look at that. I need you to stop asking me to use Dora because I, I'm gonna want to use it, but like. Okay. So we want Gold Sark. Gold Sark. We want King Sark. What is the last card? Okay, I'm like looking at the 
the bash. Okay, so we get M City. We discard M City. Hmm. Just click. Summon M City. You over you. Get out of here. I don't want you here either. And I die. I don't want any of you. That's it. I think I just cut it off at there. You know what? Draw a Veiler. You can draw a Veiler. I don't care. Wow, gang. It sure is easy to... Just click when you're playing with Horus cards that... Oh well. We know in our heart that we had it. Slide gaming. That's fine. It happens. But we're just filling out like. Speaking of not putting the wrong thing back into my deck, let's get him steady. His village. You know, just card. Well, let's see. Got a card to hand. Back. Study. Um, I don't need to send the deck anymore. Let's see. Column. Where are you? Imsetti. Solemn, you got a spellcaster, so we play this. Pass. Ideal. Couldn't be more ideal unless we like slapped a lad on top. Oh, it's Nemleria! Hell yeah. I know this is gonna go badly for them. I play the deck. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you can play the continuous spell directly from. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, I have another Imseti in graveyard. They have to go right into battle to get. Oh no, you don't, you only set traps, you don't set the spell, so like, never mind, you can't do anything. <laughs> Whoa. No. Oh. Plays this with two dark monsters you just special summon.
Um, no, Hoppy can go down. But when Eater comes at me, I'm dark. I guess they both go on the same ch- oh, that's too bad. Damage step and all that. I didn't lose him, Seti, though. Uh, so that face down is like what? Probably not. Probably Repeter. Well, it could be Love. Um. Try to right, draw into Lad. No. I can hope. Uh, okay, well, I know the drill. Um, I will be banishing the Ravel. Uh, put it right on top. That's... I almost just played the second King Sark as a funny joke, but... Uh, we're... Yeah, we did it. That was pretty cool. I definitely thought that that dog's deck would would take off more. Uh. Well, where it go? Eh, man, another time. If I could give that Cosmo deck two weeks, I can goof around with this another time. Well, thank you with, for joining me, though. We had a nice, productive morning. Light and Darkness Dragon continues to be one of the coolest cards in the game, even if we summoned it a grand total of, uh, once. It lasted a turn. But we won on that turn, so it was worth it. Uh, yeah, so we're going to call it there. Comfy morning. Thank you for showing up. And uh, we'll be back with um, probably more card games on Monday, but uh, we got the, the funny Fortnite tomorrow, too. Frost. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend. And